The new urban crisis is the crisis of economic success. Hi, my name is Chris Keynes. I'm the Interim Miami Program Director at Knight Foundation, and we at Knight Foundation couldn't be happier to support the Miami Urban Futures Initiative in partnership with Creative Class in Richard, Florida, alongside Florida International University. This is an excellent opportunity to bring in a national network of expertise uh, alongside a trusted local institution to help better engage and inform uh, our community at large. By providing data-driven research alongside robust community engagement, we hope to create an initiative that is by, of, and for all of our community. Miami has so much opportunity behind it, and we look forward to Miami's Urban Future Initiative helping us to think through and uh, unlock that full potential. This place should be one of the most significant bicycle commuting Negativism are the order of the day. That's not us. That's not you. And, and, and your presence here gives us hope that we can move forward in a positive way and do things that are important and helpful uh, for our community to build a better, stronger for tomorrow. This is absolutely uh, a, you know, music to my ears because it says we've got it right. And uh, we don't often stand up and say we've got it right because we know we have so much to, to, to continue improving on and learning. But you talk to our team, you talk to our board, you talk to our stakeholders, they will tell you that word one out of my mouth is talent, talent, talent. So the Miami Urban Future Initiative is important to our region because it enables an expert like Dr. Florida and the Creative Class Group to work with the Anchor Institution, Florida International University, and the generosity of the Knight Foundation to collect data to assist decision makers and community leaders to look at that data, predict what will happen in our city, and make better decisions. Now that we have a new mayor, okay, in the city of Miami, I mean, there has to be a conversation of, come on, we need some fairness here. We can't have these big developers coming in and wiping us out like that. I think that in the United States, most, regardless of the party of governor, most state legislatures have long had, long, like, 200 years of a, of a significant anti-urban, anti-large metro bias. There's a voluminous political science literature on this. So that means we're probably going to have to do this ourselves.